All right, well, a major scare for officers overnight after they were involved in a shootout in southeast Houston. This all started when officers pulled over a man and his mother, but that traffic stop quickly escalated into gunfire. This happened just after 3 o'clock this morning on Yellowstone, right near Sherwood, not far from Foster Elementary School. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli joins us now live from the scene with the charges the suspect is facing. Vincent. Tonight, good morning. Right now, that suspect is behind bars. Chief Acevedo says he will face at least one charge of aggravated assault on a peace officer. Detectives say this dangerous suspect opened fire in this family-friendly neighborhood. Overnight gunfire rocks a Houston neighborhood. A daughter calls her mother. And she said, Mom, it's a lot of shooting at our house. Outside Michelle Garrett's home, a car crash and a shootout involving police officers. So I'm at work third shift. I'm a nervous wreck, and I'm worried about her. Chief Art Acevedo says two officers were conducting a traffic stop, but instead of pulling over, the 37-year-old suspect and his mother jumped, then rolled from their car. Upon tucking and rolling out of the vehicle, the male suspect immediately came up and fired multiple rounds at our police officers. At least seven shots were fired during the shootout. One of the bullets struck an HPD cruiser. Then the suspect took off running. Within uh, 14 minutes, we were able to find the, the male suspect hiding underneath a car. Authorities also detained his mother and recovered the pistol he fired. Anything could have happened. It could have been worse. I look at it that way, it could have been worse. Acevedo says the suspect had ecstasy pills on him and he has a criminal history, including an arrest for unlawful possession of a firearm. And today, he's behind bars. A suspect is in custody. The suspect uh, is okay. Our officers, most importantly, are okay. And so one, no one's been injured and we're very fortunate this morning. I'm just glad they're okay. I'm glad the police are okay. I really am. And the officer that returned to fire will be placed on administrative leave, which is standard procedure during the investigation of an officer involved shooting. Reporting live in South Houston, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.